Aha! It's Mary Wilson, isn't it? It is. Yes, hello, John. You all right? I'm very well, thank you. Lovely to meet you. Do come in. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, who's this gentleman with you? This is uh, my MD, John G. Smith. Hello. Hello. It's a nice, impressive uh, keyboard case, is it? In there? Yeah, is there somewhere I can put this? Uh, yes. Why don't you all go through into the lounge, John, and set up? Uh, I'm sure you'll find a, a spare electrical socket you can plug into. Marvellous. But right now, Mary, here is the opening jingle to officially welcome you to the show. The nets have been washed, the sofa cushions plumped, the air freshener refill activated. With biscuits and tea, I trust you'll agree. Your visit has been anticipated. Oh, welcome to John Shuttleworth's Lounge Music. Welcome to John Shuttleworth's Lounge Music. Oof. Wow. Yeah. Um, I'm very flattered and everything, but... Go on. I can't eat biscuits because uh, I'm, I'm a celiac. I beg your pardon? So I can't have gluten. Oh, I see. And they're probably not gluten-free biscuits that you've got, are they, by any chance? Well, it's funny you say that, because Mary is on a bit of a health kick. Oh. And um, she's got that sort of thing in, so she might be able to help you out. OK. In fact, here she is. Mm. Uh, right. Yeah. Mary? Yes. This is uh, Mary Wilson. Oh. Hello. You're right. Hello, Mary. How are you doing? Is it true you've got gluten-free biscuits here? Uh, no. No, I've got uh, gluten-free bread. But it's at Joan Chitty's house. Oh. Oh. Can it be retrieved, Mary? Well, yes, I can give Joan a call. Ask her to pop it over. Oh, thanks, love. Yeah, if she's in. Do you want a cup of tea, Mary, or would you like uh, I, I, a I'm herbal? happy with it. I don't mind herbal or... or I quite like Earl Grey. Do, 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 mm -hmm. Have you got Earl Grey or is it just English breakfast? No, we got Earl Grey, I think. That'd be nice. Yeah. Do you know please? why? Because we picked up one of those sachets from a B&B. &B. Mm. We stayed um, <laughs> yeah. on the outskirts of Whitby. In 09. We did. And this, so it's, it's going to be a few years old. Mm. I just I keep seeing it. Well, right. An Earl Grey then. Oh, thanks, Mary. Yes, thank you, yeah. Mary. C come into the lounge, uh, Mary. Oh, OK, thank uh, you. Let's not just stand chatting in the hall. No. Uh, can, can I sit down? Please. Uh, yeah, don't mind uh, John G. Smith. No. He's, um, He's setting up cables in the corner. Looks quite proficient. Mm, no, he is. He's proficient and professional. Is he? Mm. What's happened to the beehive, Mary? Well, I had to let it go because... I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it actually looks better as it is now. I think so. Well, it's because I'm older, you see. When you get older, to have a beehive is not very flattering. You can you can end up looking a bit like Bet Lynch. You remember Bet Lynch in Coronation Street? Well, of course I do, yes. Played by Julie Goodyear. She became a big soap star. She did, yeah. yes, yes. But unfortunately you didn't. No. And I'm wondering, Mary, is it because <clears throat> you turned down a particular quiz show at a pivotal moment in your career? Didn't you turn down Blankety Blank? Uh, I read that somewhere. I, uh, yes, I did. That was <sighs> a long time ago. Can't believe you did that. Why did you do that? Well, um... You could have been working with Roger de Corsi. Uh, Christopher I Biggins. met Roger de Corsi and I've got his card on, my, um, on the side of my fridge. Well, you'd probably have a Christmas card from him well, if I hope you'd so. been on Blankety Blank. Mm. Oh, John G. Smith is uh, warming up, so it's time for me to press a button. Show us what you can do. Bang that table, blow that kazoo, strum that lute, toot that flute. You're a famous star, it's true. So show us what you can do. Mary Wilson, show us what you can do. Wow, that's amazing. I know it is, but, you know, you've got to show us what you can do. Well, yeah, I just wanted to say. That, oh, that's thank all. you very much. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh. <laughs> Said he was giving me a taffeta address. That's just what I've always wanted. And then he said he'd give me more or less of just what I've always wanted. But you don't give me anything, and I don't ask you just yourself is good enough. And that's 
Jan, thanks, Mary. Yeah, Mary's tea. Yeah. It's a bit loud, love. <clears throat> Is it? Oh, sorry, love. Fantastic. I do apologise for uh, for coming in a bit early there. I thought you'd finished. Oh, he has got a bit of a false ending, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, here's your tea, Mary. Oh, thank you. Um, Is Earl, it all right? I, no, it smells fine. It smells like Earl Grey. Mm. Well, John, we've enjoyed <coughs> your vocals and your keyboard, but I'm going to have to ask you to step out, please, now. OK, if you will. we'll do it, yeah. I'll see you later. Yeah, well, where are you going to go? Is there something you'd like me to say? Can I make myself useful, maybe? Would you like to power wash... The um, recycling bin, because I notice there's a lot of grime on it. Yeah, I, I probably, it's all set up. leave that one, if I oh, may. All right then. <laughs> well, I don't mind you leaving it because I enjoy doing it, you know. Okay, I'll leave that do one you? to you. I do. Oh. Well, see you in a bit then, John. See you in a bit, all right. See you in a bit, yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> that, uh, that song was lovely because it was poppy. You yeah. Went to, you went a bit funny, you went a bit jazzy, didn't you? I did go a bit jazzy for yeah. a while. I sort of well, it was at, it, that was at the blankety blank stage that we were discussing earlier. I well, kind there you of, go. I sort of made a bit of a left turn, mm. and uh, I, I sort of left pop alone for a little while because I, I I I could see where I was heading. I thought I was heading towards the end of the pier. I don't know if you know what I mean by that. <sighs> well, yes, it would have been fantastic. That's everyone's dream, isn't it? Uh, the end of the pier. Well, maybe. We, we, it's, it, but Hobnobbing it, it, with little and large and mm. the crankies. Yes. Have you not worked with the crankies? No. Well, actually, I have worked with the crankies on Cracker Jack. Well, that should have uh, stopped your career sliding, shouldn't it? Being on, on Cracker Jack, that, <laughs> surely. What happened there? Uh, Was well, Leslie I, there? Uh, Did you get a pencil? Oh, right. hey. <clears throat> Look at this. Mary's come in with a, a big plate of... Is that gluten-free? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But when they put uh, margarine on though. Isn't that, well, I, uh, can you have margarine? I can. I can have margarine. Yeah. Oh. It's like, it's, it's like I can't have wheat, barley, and rye. So there's no mm. wheat in margarine. Right. It just no. doesn't taste as good as butter. You should have checked first, Mary. Though. Oh, that's all right, Mary. Yeah, yeah. which is fine with margarine, John. Oh, sorry, love. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and this is Joan. Oh, hello, Joan. Hello. You all right? I'm fine, thank you. Yes. Have you, is there something wrong with your voice? Have you got a sore throat? No. Oh. No. no. No, that's how Joan talks. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, I'm terribly yeah. sorry. Sorry. It's all right. I notice you've got rid of your beehive. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. it had to go, really. It was a lot of work, Joan. Mm. You know, I, and uh, and also, back in the day, I had a hairdresser. Oh. It's very expensive having a hairdresser with you all the time doing your hair. So that had to go as well, I'm afraid. Yeah. Well, Mary, I'd quite like to have my hair in a beehive. Oh. Do you think you could do it for me? Ooh. Well, I, I could I could try. I think no. it might need to be a little bit longer. No. Yes, because Joan, <coughs> obviously the, the listeners can't see, but Joan's got quite a short, spiky uh, hairdo. Mm. But It'll be fine. Hold your horses, Joan, because if you do have a beehive, mm -hmm. you could have problems. Because no. uh, presumably you have to put a lot of lacquer in. Yes. Yeah. And yes. then the, the weight of all that hair piled up, up on top of your head and the lacquer. Mm. That's, that's a hell of a weight there. Isn't that going to cause undue pressure on your neck? No. Cause neck problems? No, no, no. It don't, it, it, no Surely it is. No. no, not at all. No, it's quite comfortable, actually. Yes, right. Mary, have Go. you got some hair lacquer? Oof. You've started something there, Mary. <laughs> Sorry. I think we better uh, have some more music. Oh. You like that? Yeah, that's good, isn't it? It's my turn to shine Not the sun or the moons Or Martin Clunes It's my <laughs> turn to shine So let the stage be mine Oh, it's my turn to shine It's my turn to shine Oh, yep. oh. 
bit more heart there. Ooh. All about a road. Marry this one. Um, oh. I'm on a road in Lincolnshire that winds o'er hill and valley. Well, it would if it wasn't in Lincolnshire, which isn't very hilly. <laughs> in fact, it's flat as a pancake, but not as sweet and crispy. There's no time to rest, I'm on a quest. I hope my wife won't miss me. <laughs> <coughs> no. Oh. I'm having fun, 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 fun on the A1111. It's like the A1, but four times as good. It's the A1111. Having fun, 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 fun on the A1111. Like the A1, but four times as good. It's the A1111. Join in when you feel confident, Mary. Oh, this bit's a bit like Camberwick Green, isn't yeah. it? Oh, look out! They were driving a bit dangerously, weren't they? <laughs> I'm on a road in Lincolnshire I wouldn't have taken normally But I have to get to Sutton on Sea To visit my friend's beach chalet <laughs> All around me bungalows And caravan parks entice me I'll be sad to leave this colourful road For the drab B1190 <laughs> Oh, here we go. Having fun, 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 fun on the A1111. Like the A1, but four times as good as the A1111. Come on, everybody. Having fun, 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 fun on the A1111. Like the A1, but four times as good as the A1111. Like the A1, but four times as good as the A1. Harmonies, Mary, come on. I was, I was doing a harmony. Like the A1, but four times as good as the A1111. One, 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 one. <laughs> Having fun, 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 fun. <laughs> On the A11, one, one. Oh, that's a good one, that, John. Mm. I'd like to send that off to um, Aztec Camry. Ooh. <laughs> Just not think, Mary. Camry. He's gone a bit quiet, hasn't he? Well, um... Or a fun track for Clannard, Ken. Oh, yes, definitely. Do they do fun tracks, though? High time they did, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> They're a bit gloomy, aren't they? <laughs> they are. Oh, that was lovely, that. Some very nice harmonies, Mary. Um, mm. Welcome, Ken. Have you met Mary? Hello, Mary. Ken. Mary Hello, Wilson. Ken. Great nice, pleasure to uh, meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Actually, my harmonies were all over the place because I, I don't know the song, you see. It was just, John just sprung it on me, <sighs> which is great, yeah. but I didn't really know it, so. Doesn't matter. I was joining in as well. Having fun, 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 Oof. fun. Ken just dancing around the room now with his knees quite high. John, I've had a wonderful idea. What? Um, why don't we, yes. uh, at the end of the show, mm -hmm. I'll get into your, um, your Aston Ambassador Ooh. and uh, go off to Sutton on Sea because I do need to check the chalet. And uh, we can go Ooh. along the A. Bom, 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 bom. And um, yeah, just check it out. Maybe have a, a barbecue on the on the uh, beach. Do you fancy coming, Mary? Ooh. Well, do you know what? Mm. We could all sing that song Ooh. in the car well, on the A1111. What? How many ones are there? Four ones, Mary. Four yes. ones on yeah. the A1111. <laughs> we could all sing it in the car and, and, and yes. live the song, oh, as it were. Well. That's a fantastic idea. It'd be a lovely way to round off the series. <sighs> well, Ken, let's be realistic. It's, it's getting late. It's winter time. Um, you know, it's a Sunday night. We've got to polish the shoes for the children in the morning. What children? There's no children here, John. Now, come on, let's go. There's some uh, little sandwiches here we can pack. Can I just try one? Hey. Oh, the bread tastes funny. Yes. What's that? Oh, that's gluten-free bread, especially for me. Sorry, yeah. Ken. Oh. Oh. Hey, Ken. Nasty. You know, it's your own fault. Um, taking Mary's health food. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, Mary's on a special diet. I think, the, I think the sea air might be uh, unsettling for her. Mm. Oh, I imagine it might do me good. But where oh. is it? Sutton on Sea. Oh, what is on near the A1111? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mary, can we pack a picnic? No, Ken. Get a new bike out. Oh. Mary. Oh, my mobile's going off. I'm going to have to take this, Mary. Okay. Um, That's all right. Have some more gluten free bread. Thank you. Um, and I'll be back with you shortly. Uh, hello. Hello. Is that John? It is. Who's that? Ah, now this is. Tony Burrows. Tony Burrows? Aha! 
Top tips on the telephone, direct from Hollywood to my home. The stars get on the dog and bone for top tips on the telephone. Oh, welcome to Top Tips on the Telephone. Yes. Yes. Uh, Tony, uh, what I want to know from you is how to get on top of the pops and stay there. Because you did, didn't you, Tony? Yes, I've been on top of the pops a few times. You have? Yes, uh, I have. Not recently, obviously, because the programme is no longer with us. Last time was 1974. That's a funny year. Yeah, that was 74. Was I it? Think it was the last time. But uh, for a time, uh, you were like on every week. And once you were on three times, I believe. I was. Well, uh, yeah, there was one occasion that I was on three times. And uh, the word came down. The floor manager came up to me and said, uh, Tony, I think there's something uh, you should know. And and I said, well, you know, what is that? And I said, the words come down from above Yeah. that you shouldn't be uh, used anymore. Oof. And I said, well, that's ridiculous. Uh, you asked me to do the show. Yeah. Well, if you were the singer of the song, you had to be on the show, didn't you? Absolutely. Yeah. The record is sold, and, and, uh, and so I came on and performed. And performed them. I think we should explain at this stage, Tony, that uh, you, you, you're not a member of the Beatles or the Rolling Stones. It's because you were a top session singer. Uh, yes, that's what I did. That's what I was doing. Would you would you have just been waiting by the phone all the time, or do, did you have to go down to Tim Pan Alley and uh, knock on the door and say, "Well, I'm here." I was very pally with a lot of the songwriters at yeah. the time, and they would come up to me and say. Oh, we can't find anyone to sing that song. Can you can you do it for me? And that's Ooh. basically what happened. The, the songs were recorded over about a period of nine months, but they all came out at the same time. Yeah, so that's why you ended up uh, singing three times with three different pop groups on one edition of Top of the Pops. Well, yes. Was it February 1970? It was. Well... I'm a big fan of yours, Tony, and I do remember a lot of your big hits. In fact, I've compiled a little medley. Uh, oh. Can I just sing it to you? Sing uh, it? To, all right. See if you recognise it. It goes, no. Let's go to San Francisco. Love grows where my rosemary goes. And nobody knows. Like my baby loves loving. My baby loves loving. I'm telling you people. Beach baby, beach baby. Dee, 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 dee. United we stand. Divided we fall. When you are a king. Dee, 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 dee. I missed one biggie out there, Tony. Can you remember which one it is? Yes, I do know which one it is. Go on, sing it. I don't talk about it too often. <laughs> that's right, that's right. I'm shirt and blue. <laughs> give me that, ding, give me that, give me, give me that. That's the one. See, you, you, I thought you'd have done the high bit, but you did the deep voice, I didn't did the, you? I did the low bit, yeah. Why did you choose um, a voice that's, that's a bit frightening? Uh, well, basically, uh, I'd been doing an awful lot of work and I'd lost my voice. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, so, um, thanks, Tony, and um, good luck with all your session singing in the future. Well, thank you very much, John. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. Well, and a pleasure to talk to you. Bye, uh, Tony. Bye for now. Oh, he said bye for now. Maybe he wants to stay in touch. Oh, give me that ding, give it. Oh, what's going on? Well, you've got more hair than me. Yes. Your afro would make a lovely beehive, wouldn't it, Mary? Well, I don't, I don't think that would work. No. He'd end up looking like Divine. Oh. Do you remember Divine? No. Who's that, Mary? He was um, a sort of transvestite singer oh. in the 80s, Oof. and he had a sort of beehive, but he wore, he did wear a dress and everything, and I know Ken's not wearing a dress. No, Sorry, not. Ken. And I'm not going to either. No. Uh, and it's time for you to put your comb away, please, Mary. OK. Because John G. Smith is back. Mm -hmm. uh, are you all plugged in still? Plugged in, still working. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good, because it's time for you to attempt a song under the covers. Oh. Under the covers, we're not talking lovers cavorting. The thought brings a blush to my cheek. Under the covers is a chance to hear others Sing my songs and me to sing theirs once a week Off you go. Oh, 
Good luck. Yes. Good luck, Mary. A beehive would so you can. No, it wouldn't, Joe. It would. It wouldn't. Don't be so silly. Shh. I love a nice hot cuppa. It really satisfies me. Before I sip, I tend to blow to cool the liquid slightly. I can't think of a drink that can so refresh me. But all too soon it's down my throat and I'm staring at an empty. Time for a top up, that all important second cup. But after an initial sip, I lose interest in it. I'll dunk a biscuit, better not. I've had a few already. Suddenly my thirst has gone, and the mug is getting heavy. La 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 la. La 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 One cup of tea is never enough And two is one too many One cup of tea is never enough And two is one too many I've searched for answers to this conundrum But I can't find any One cup of tea is never enough And two is one too many And two is one too many. One cup of tea is never enough. And two is one too many. I've searched for answers to this conundrum, but I can't find any. One cup of tea is never enough. And two is one too many. Hey, hey. One cup of tea is never enough. And two is one too many. La la. One cup of tea is never enough. And two is one too many. Oh, that was beautiful. It was, was it? absolutely fantastic. Oh, thank you. I feel very humbled. <laughs> oh, right, we're all ready. I nipped home and I've got some, some takeaway curry from yesterday. Oh. It's off uh, packed up in a little picnic basket mm -hmm. and uh, a bottle of pop. So let's go. <laughs> are, are, we go are we going now? Yes. Again. Come on. Yeah, this is crazy. It is. You know, it's freezing <laughs> and it's dark. It's not going to happen, Ken. No. You want to go, don't you, Mary? Oh, well, I think it's a bit of an adventure. I like mm. being spontaneous. Yes. Don't you, John? Mary. <sighs> no, I don't. Oh. Ready, Mary? Um, you got, you got to just throw caution to the wind sometimes, John. Yes, but there's a time and place you need to plan when you're going to throw your caution to the wind. <laughs> you know what I mean? John, surely you don't want to <coughs> join in this harebrained scheme. It, it sounds uh, enticing, John. I, I think I'd I better go, actually. I've got oh. a gig tonight, so... Um... Mm. Cancel it! No, Ken. Uh, I can't cancel it, but I wouldn't mind a little bit of takeaway curry if you Oof. don't mind just making me a doggy bag. Oh, uh, well, yeah, you'll be getting the doggy bag of a doggy bag. <laughs> anyway... Oh. Yeah, another time, Ken. No, uh, no. Yeah, it's, it's the end of the series. Ken wants to end it with a party. No, but, no. ooh, what we could do, of course, no, is push the sofa right back, the one you're sitting on, Mary, yes. and um, take her shoes and socks off uh, and pretend to paddle. That's spontaneity for you, isn't it? Well... I just thought of that. Well, we could put music on and dance. If you're oh. going to push the sofa back, there'd be a bit more space. Yeah, no. We could do that, could oh, Yes, you? yes. Mary. No, John. <laughs> You've got athlete's foot, haven't you? Ooh. Oh, yeah. It, it would be unhygienic to take your socks and shoes off. It would, John. Mm. <laughs> She's right there. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. In fact, it's time to put on my ointment, isn't it, Mary? Oof, honestly. <laughs> but before I do that, let's end the show and the series with the second half of Under the Covers, uh, a medley of your hits, Mary. Oh, and oh. there were quite a few. Mm. There were. That's yeah. right. Can I oh. sing along at, at, in, oh. any, at any time? Or? I'd love you to join yeah. in. Oh, when you feel confident. Mm. Yeah. Uh, don't, yes. goodness sake, don't join no. until no. you Get know on with what it. you're doing. No, yeah. no. Yeah. all right. Come on. You said you'd give me a tougher to dress. That was just what I've always wanted. That must take issue, Mary. Why would you want a tougher to dress? Ooh. I'd hate to have a tougher to dress. Well, you're a man. Oh, yes. It well, would make me want to 
Cry me a river. Oh, that was slick. Cry Mary. me a river. I cry a river over you. You changed the tune a bit there, John. Oh, now, now you say you, say you love, me. love me. Oh, oh you've no. lost the whole night through. Oh. Help me out, Murray. Now oh, you, you can won't cry me a river. Cry me a river. I cry a river, river over you. Oh, I knew the chords and the gum. Mm, what about yeah. this one? I can't stop myself from loving you. And I can't stop myself from loving you. Because I, I just what I've always wanted. Clever segue. Oh, 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 oh. I've got just what I've always wanted. Murray, can you read out the uh, end credits, please? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. If you don't mind. Go on, Murray. All right. John Shuffleworth's lounge music was written and performed by Graham Fellows with special guests, Mary Wilson, with piano player John G. Smith and Tony Burrows on the telephone. The producer was Dawn Ellis and it was a Sheik Ken production for BBC Radio 4. You missed out Beat the Beat. Oof, did I?